I'm Robson Green, actor and extreme fisherman. I love my job. Over the past few years, I've taken on some of the best anglers the world has to offer. Come on, Bonnie lad, don't lose it. And one thing's for sure, whether it's big fish... Look at the size! That was bigger than this boat! Or little fish... Look at this little fella. Whether it's on raging rivers... Oh, Mary, Mother of God, Paul, yes! Or beneath the waves... Yeah. Wherever I find myself in the world, everyone loves... Extreme Fishing! My all-new adventure will take me from the frozen Arctic... Iceberg! You're touching a record there. ...to the steaming jungle. What the hell is this, man? And the boiling desert. I am hot! Go on! Each week, I'm in a different location with the same extreme challenge. Five rounds of competitive fishing against some of the best anglers that nation has to offer. You lost it, man! Oh, he's got it. I'm out to beat them for most fish. Oh, you beauty. Biggest fish. You cannot believe what I have just seen. In fact, I'll take them on at anything. Once again, I'm taking my challenge to the fishermen of the world, wherever they may be. This is Extreme Fishing. This week, I'm popping across the pond. Now, I've already taken on the Americas from the Yukon to the Amazon. But this time, I'm going to take my challenge right to their front door. And I am prepared to bust it down. Badoo. Yes, I'm off to the gateway to the new world, Atlantic Canada. For generations, these historic waters have provided seafaring explorers and settlers with their first glimpse of the Americas. Nowadays, its iconic rivers and coast are home to world-famous fly fishing and world-record ocean fishing. So I could be on for a few records of my own. This is my chance to catch my biggest ever Atlantic salmon, my biggest ever bluefin tuna, and my biggest fish ever on the fly. There's also a chance I could muck the whole bloody thing up. Canadians have a global reputation as friendly folk, but I'm not here to be Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, no. I'm here to beat Canada where Canada began. My challenge will take me across three Canadian provinces, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island and New Brunswick. And that's where I'm headed first, to one of the greatest salmon rivers on the planet. Fly fishing is my bread and butter, so even though I'm nearly 3,000 miles from home, today at least, I should be on familiar territory. Very familiar. Welcome to the county of Northumberland. Welcome to Northumberland. Welcome, welcome. You'll have a great time. Well, uh, welcome. Welcome to me home town. Welcome to Northumberland. Yes. Alan Shearer, Jimmy Neal, Cheryl Cole, they're all waiting for you. What are you leaving for? What are you leaving for? We're all canny folk here. Where are you going? Official Geordie duties over, I've got a date with this Northumberland's most famous river. Not the Tyne, but the Miramichi. Home to the biggest run of Atlantic salmon in North America and my next opponent. Well, good morning and howdy doody, Debbie North. Robson Green! Oh, yeah, good to see you. Heard a lot about you, man. <laughs> I've heard more about you. <laughs> This is Debbie Norton, a fifth-generation Miramichi angler. She's loud, she's proud, and she's so revered here that she's about to be inducted into the Atlantic Salmon Museum Hall of Fame. I know you're from a family of angling aristocracy, but I'm here to tell you that I've travelled nearly 3,000 miles to usurp your throne. I'm known as the Young Pretender, Bonnie Prince Robson. How does that sound? Bonnie Prince Robson? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Robson, you're not going to move me off the throne of being queen on the Miramichi. You reckon? No way, man. You reckon you got what it takes, Debbie? <laughs> well, we're going to see now, aren't we? We certainly are. <laughs> I'm scared. Debbie's family first arrived on the banks of the Miramichi nearly 200 years ago, so no one knows this river better than her. Well, will you look at that? The Miramichi, eh? That's what dreams are made of, Robson. <laughs> so how's this for a competition? The angler who has the biggest Atlantic salmon at the end of the day shall be victorious. It's 
Sounds good to me. It might be your turf, but fly fishing is my territory. Best of luck. <laughs> so round one is fly fishing in its purest form. A straight shootout for the biggest Atlantic salmon of the day. Good luck, old man. <laughs> Probably don't want me to call you old man. <laughs> I'm very fragile, you know. I'm an actor. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Like a harpoon through my celebrity heart. Now, just in case you're in any doubt about the grandeur of this epic river, Marilyn Monroe, Prince Charles, US presidents, they've all cast a line here. And now so has Robson Green from Extreme Fishing with Robson Green. And other shows such as Pete the Metro Man and Bookaboo, a story about a drumming dog. I've worked with the best. And I just want you to listen to something. It's my favorite sound on earth. Sound of solitude. Peace. Tranquility. Hey, Robson, you having any luck down there? Yeah, man, nearly had a heart attack. <sighs> As it happens, I'm not having any luck yet, Debbie. Well, not with the fish, anyway. Well, what do you know? My first ever sighting of a beaver. Hey, nice beaver. You're pretty good with that there. Why, Rob? Not bad for a city boy, Robson. Thank you very much, Debbie. Three hours gone, but no matter how good my casting is, The salmon just aren't biting. Oh, bugger. Nothing. Time to get the dynamite out. If all else failed, blow them out of the water. Don't tell the local authorities. At this rate, that might be our only chance. But thankfully, Debbie has one other option further up river. Whoa. Gotta watch your step here, Robson. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There better be fish down here. I can see them. There are fish in there well over 20 pounds. Wow! These monster salmon may be easy to spot, but that doesn't mean they're easy to catch. Did you see that? Did you catch that fish? That must have been about 20, 25 pounds. The problem is, I can't get a back cast in here because of the terrain. This is really going to test our casting ability today. Half a dozen of the biggest Atlantic salmon I have ever seen are right under my nose. I can almost reach out and touch them. Hey, Robson, how you doing down there? I'm as frustrated as a frustrated thing that gets frustrated. There are five or six in front of me here. <laughs> Not what other want my fly, it's just gone past their mouths. Those fish got a mind of their own, Robson. Unfortunately, the salmon are here to breed, so the last thing on their minds is eating our flies. I never wanted to say this today, it's the fish's fault. So far, they've been smarter than both of us. No. They're not going to bite today. Well, looks like we're going to have to resolve this competition by taking salmon out the equation. I have a plan. Fly fishing requires skill, technique and accuracy. But you don't always need a fish to put that to the test. We are win. We're going to settle our score with a shootout. First to hit the target wins. <laughs> didn't say I had to use a rod. <laughs> She's only joking, I think. The real challenge is to hit the target with our fly. Fastest time within a 15 second limit takes the victory. Timekeeper is local fishing guide, Brett. First up, it's the queen of the mirror machine. Okay, Debbie, go. Hurry up, Debbie, it's getting dark. Now, 
Okay. Time's up. Next to take aim, it's the Geordie kid. Butch Robson. Okay, Robson. Focus, Robson. Focus. Cash. <laughs> time, Brett, give me the time. 6.4. 6.4. Sorry, Debbie. Watch and wait. <laughs> well, my fishing may have misfired today, but my sharpshooting has shot me into a 1-0 lead. It's been a blast. <laughs> I may not have caught anything yet, but with a familiar voice ringing in my ears... Good luck, old man. Thanks, Debbie. I'm off in search of another great fish, musky. Oh, they must have been expecting me. Good morning, Clark. How the devil are you? Good morning. Robson. Hi, Robson. Pleasure nice. to meet you. Nice to meet you. My opponent is Clark Rayner, a super competitive iron pumping musky devotee and proud owner of the fastest banana yellow speedboat on the St John River. Now, I've heard a vicious rumour you're one of the best and toughest musky fishermen around. I enjoy fishing muskies. Yeah. I have caught a few. So I've got a feeling you don't like losing. I don't like to lose. Well, you're not going to like today. Best of luck. Try and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> aboard. <laughs> muskies, or to give them their full name, Musky Lunge, are the largest member of the pike family and one of North America's greatest sports fish. So anglers like Clark consider catching them the ultimate challenge. OK, Clark, I've heard there's some decent-sized fish in here, so what's our competition today? I would think we're going for largest fish. Biggest musky? Biggest musky by length. So round two here on the St John is a musky showdown played out on the deck of Clark's banana boat. The man with the biggest fish will be the winner. Muskies are voracious predators, but despite this, they're notoriously difficult to catch. I have to say, this is my type of angling. It's active, but it's going to be cast after cast after cast. And as it's known as the fish of 10,000 casts, it could be here for quite a while. So, been fishing for about half an hour. Done about 100 casts, only 9,900 to go. Robson, the way you got the action down that bait, I'm getting a little bit nervous that you might actually catch a muskie today. Oh, I've caught some fish in my time, Clark. No pressure. Yep, watch and learn, kiddo. Watch and learn. OK, this is it. This is what I've travelled nearly 3,000 miles for. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Clark. Well, the musky, Clark. <laughs> well, I figure you're only 8,500 casts away from no one. Ah, that's what it is. It's the 10,000 casts, isn't it? <laughs> I know it's taking a while, but to misquote JFK, we don't do musky fishing because it's easy. We do musky fishing because it is hard. Or to quote Homer Simpson, if something's hard to do, it's not worth doing. Well, not where we were, anyway. OK, we've moved to another spot. But it ain't any old spot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a location of global renown. Here, in front of me, is the world's longest covered bridge. not exactly the Golden Gate, is it? No, but it is 1,282 feet long and dates back to 1901. And right now, knowing that is the highlight of my day. I must have done two and a half, three thousand casts. I can't feel my right hand side. You know, this is considered good fishing for musky fishing. This is good. I'd hate to be with you when it's bad. I know they're out there. Oh, I've got to follow, got to follow, got to go on, take it. That's a big fish right there. Oh, I'm telling you, 
turned away at the last second. <sighs> that must have been about 50 inches in length. Bloody hell! Eight hours of non-stop casting and my one and only chance has gone in the blink of an eye. Half an hour to go. And still, Clark and I have caught bugger all. Robson Green, extreme fishing, with no musky. Come on, Robbo. Final push. 9,998. 9,999. And... Time's up, Robson. Hey. It's the end of the day. What do you mean? That was my 10,000th cast coming up. That had been the one. We're done, man. That's it. Bugger. It's a draw. One more cast and I would have had him. But instead, all I have is a sore arm. I may be holding on to my 1-0 lead, but the fish on this trip are still proving elusive. And just to add insult to injury, I'm being haunted by the ghosts of challenges past. Hey, Robson, you ready for a try in another spot? Yes, Debbie, I am. I'm leaving New Brunswick behind and heading across the water to Canada's smallest province, Prince Edward Island, and the tiny fishing village of North Lake. In these waters swims one of the greatest fish on the planet, 1,000 pound plus bluefin tuna. More bluefin world records have been set here than anywhere else. Imagine getting one of those on the end of the line. Every year, North Lake hosts a three-day tuna tournament, open to an international field of expert anglers. So today, I'm not just taking on one opponent, I'm taking on an entire fleet. Yep, up against me are 27 of the best tuna fishing crews in the world. Serious sportsmen seeking serious silverware. Right, where's my boat? Where's my... So is this the Extreme Dream Team? It sure is. How you doing? My name's Mark. Uh, Robson, Mark. Nice Pleasure to meet you. My brother, Scott. Hey, Scott. How's it Robson, going? Nice to meet you. Hey, Cody. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Cody. I'm Van McIntyre. Van McIntyre. Love the name of the team. <laughs> team Robson. It's got a kind of a ring to it. Love the flag. <laughs> so let this bluefin bonanza <laughs> begin. Yeah, Come on. Good. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Today is the all-important final day of the tournament, and after fabulous fishing on the first two days in my absence, Team Robson is currently in ninth place. If we catch a big bluefin today, we could win the entire tournament. But to win my challenge, all I have to do is make sure Team Robson moves up the leaderboard. OK, Mark. Are we going to catch today? Well, uh, I'm going to give you a 99.9% .9 chance. Nothing's a guarantee, but we got a pretty good chance today we're going to get a fish on. So the skipper's confident, and that means I am too. Within a square mile, you can see all 28 boats. So this is obviously prime bluefin territory. You can just sense it, man. Something's going to kick off. Just feel it. All right, Robson, we got some movement here. There's a lot of birds diving around there and some boats uh, heading that way. So we're getting some excitement going on. And we'll get in through there and throw our hooks in and uh, see what we can do. I was going to say, have you seen all the boats are converging on this one spot? Yeah. It's, it's all kicked off. Woo-wee! Come on! Come on, please! To preserve tuna stocks, each team is only allowed to catch one fish per day, which must be released. Sizes are recorded on a strict honor system, and the team with the greatest total size across the three days will win the tournament. We've got three live baits under the water, and using the ingenious method of kite fishing, we've got one bait on top of the water. There's big tuna showing on the sounder. So they're throwing more herring overboard. We've got to be careful how we navigate through here, because all these boats are in such close proximity. Boat just hooked up right there. See that boat? What, just in front of us? Yeah, then? right in front of us, right inside. <laughs> Come on! 
One, two, three. Oh! They're marking them right there, doing that, folks. Yeah, they pooped up, definitely. Come on, it's our turn. The water is full of giant bluefin tuna. But whilst everyone else seems to be catching them, we're not even getting a sniff. Have we got a few under the boat there, Mark? We do. We actually have about eight or ten underneath us right now. And they're uh, too smart for us so far. Surely it's just a matter of time. I can't go through another day without fish. Can I? All right, just wait. Be patient. You know, take a chill pill, put the kettle on, and relax. Because good things come to those who wait. Robson, we need one here. Come on, it's all you. That's why we're called Team Robson, is it? <laughs> yeah. I get all the bad publicity. All the blame. Let me tell you, I've had some bad publicity in me time. <laughs> I played Jesus once in the Critic Road. I don't know what Robson Green was playing at, but it was hard to believe anyone would follow him across the stage, let alone Israel. <laughs> the way things are going, I might need a miracle to catch today. So far, it seems there's more chance of me walking on water. Oh, they're in again. They're definitely in. Look, there's pandemonium on that boat. There's hits over here, hits over there. Everybody's getting hits except us. Sorry to say it, blokes, but uh, I think I've jinxed your boat. <laughs> Team Robson was doing okay until Robson arrived. <laughs> Sorry about that. You don't get one every day. They're not made that way. And just to rub salt into the angling wound, I'm upstaged by a bloody gannet. Hope you choke on it. Call me paranoid, but I'm beginning to think these Atlantic Canadians are winding me up. Hey, Robson, you having any luck down there? Take a wild guess, Debbie. Try it all we can do, boys. What can I say? It's no fish. There's still no fish. We, we haven't got a fish. Time's up on the tournament, and we've plummeted from ninth this morning to 14th. So I've lost my challenge. It's now Robson 1, Canada 1. Three fishing fiascos down, and I still haven't caught anything. It's the stuff of nightmares. Those fish got a mind of their own, Robson. Time to get the dynamite out! No! I'm still waiting to catch my first fish, but perhaps today is the day. You notice that smell on the water? It smells like fish! Oh, I hope you're right, Debbie. For my next fling of the fishy dice, I'm returning to the mainland and my third province on this adventure, Nova Scotia. I've heard about a secret lake here where the smallmouth bass are so abundant, even I could catch one. Well, good morning. Hey, good morning, Robson. David, pleasure to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. And this is who I'll be taking on, David Doggett. Mild-mannered Dave started fishing when he was just five, became a licensed guide at 16, and is now one of Nova Scotia's leading bass fishermen. Are you confident today? I I'm fairly confident. Yeah? yeah? Well, I'm not. I've just seen the method we're using. <laughs> Let me tell you, David, kayaks and Robson Green do not mix. We're as compatible as baked beans and blancmange. Oh, I've had some bad experiences. <laughs> right, this is saying we need a plan B. Holy We've got to catch a fish, man. It's been a bad week. Please tell me we're going to catch. I can tell you that. Yeah? Yeah. I love it. OK. I don't believe you, but I love okay, it. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. OK, look forward to it. So here I go, kayak fishing. Again. Ready? I'm off. Oh my God. Don't forget your rudder. Don't forget me what? Your rudder. Oh, yes, yes, rudder. Right, left, got you. Kayaks may have always failed me in the past, but Dave assures me this one's different, because instead of an oar, it's pedal-powered. 
freeing up my hands for fishing. OK, David. So, how's this for a competition? Angler with the most bass, at the end of the day, is the winner. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan, yeah. Stan? All right. OK. You're on. OK. So, round four. Smallmouth bass here on a lake that Dave wants to keep a secret. Despite catching nothing for three days and hating kayaks, I've optimistically set the challenge as most fish. My boat's not turning. It's not going right. My rudder's failed. I've got a failed rudder here for David. I want to go right, the kayak goes left. Here we fucking go again. Another great day out on a kayak. Well, like Tom and Jerry, I hate kayaks, kayaks hate me. David, however, is at one with his kayak. The perfect harmony between man and machine. Here we go. David is in! Yeah. He has a fish! Good fish. <laughs> There's one, Robson. Well done, David Doggett. Do you know what? I was starting to forget what a fish looked like. There he is. David, you angling genius. <laughs> and there you have a beautiful and a very fine example of a smallmouth bass. Ounce for ounce and pound for pound, it is the gamest fish around. And that is the first fish I have seen on this trip. Unfortunately, David Doggett caught it. So, that's one fish to David and still no fish to me. There's one biting it right now, watch. He's on it. What, you in again? Man, bloody hell! So frustrating! Well done, David. What can I say? You're a small mouth bass demon. 2 0, Robson. I love fishing. It's me favorite pastime. Can you tell? It's okay. Patience, Robson. This drought has to end eventually. Yes, sir! Get in! What a strike! I do not believe it! It is my first fish in Canada! I am 2-1, David. He's not the biggest smallmouth bass you'll ever see, but I do not care. He's the most beautiful smallmouth bass I've ever seen because I caught it kayak fishing. I take it all back. This is my favourite method ever in the whole world. I love it. Hey! Deborah, you can leave me alone now. Stop haunting me, because I have caught a fish. Not bad for a city boy, Robson. Thanks very much. And it's only taken me four exasperating days across three Canadian provinces. Do you know what? Your mood doesn't half change when you catch a fish. I'm having a great day, and kayak fishing will like that. Like Alan Shearer at his best, now I've got one. I'm hungry for more. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! The equaliser! Good bloody size as well. That's a good one. Do not come off. Biggest fish of the day. <gasps> He's a good two and a half, three pound, I tell you. Nice fish, Robson. Well done. Oh, yes. It's the biggest smallmouth bass I've ever seen. I mean, come on. How was that for an equaliser? It was all going wrong in Canada, but now it's all going right. Game on, Bonnie lad. God, I love kayak fishing. I'm right back in it at two all, and with just half an hour to go, the momentum is mine. There we go. Not again, no, not a third. Just when I was coming back. Oh, here you go, Robson. Three, two, buddy. Three, bloody two. He's in trouble now. There's only minutes left. I've waited so long for a good fishing day on this trip. This is it. I don't want to lose it now. Yeah. So, what you? Oh, it's off. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> OK, David, come on, seconds to go. It's now or never. Yes, sir! In the dying seconds! 
It's a very, very small, small mouth bass. Get in. Yes! No word of a lie, as God is my witness, we had 20 seconds to go and I caught the equaliser. What a place, brilliant day, and lots and lots of fish. And it's been a while since I've been able to say that. Well done, Robson, well done. It's ended 3-3, but I came here for a victory. So to solve our kayak conundrum, we're going to conclude this contest with a race up and down the lake. Refereed by Dave's mate, Travis. Three, two, one, paddle! And the Canadian kayak is off to a good start. Oh, but there's contact! And Newcastle's finest is first around the top mark. But he's gone wide, he's gone very wide, and the canny Canadians catapulted ahead. But Galloping Green's not giving up. He's closing the gap. He's closing the gap. The crowd are on their feet. The Geordie is coming. The Geordie is coming. There's nothing in it. Robson by nose. And he's done it. Hey. Good job. Great day. What can I say? The lad from Northumberland is the Steve Redgrave of the pedalo world. And with that Olympian effort, I've struck gold and taken a 2-1 lead. I love kayak fishing. Oh, fuck. OK, maybe not quite Steve Redgrave after all. And I've saved the best for last. Morning, chaps. How are you? How you doing today, boy? I'm good. I'm Robson. Robson, Hurt, pleased to meet you. Our oh, pleasure. I'm first Kyle. mate, Kyle. Kyle, good to see you. Here's our two deckhands here. These are our first mate and second mate. But it's not these salty sea dogs I'm taking on today. It's their owner, Cold War veteran Art Gayton. For 20 years, Art was in the Canadian Navy, hunting Russian submarines. But now his sights are firmly set on the second scariest thing in the ocean, sharks. So, Art, I've heard a vicious rumour the method you use is actually on the fly, fly fishing. Fly fishing um, tests your fishing skills. You give the fish a better chance. Yeah. So it kind of puts you on even terms. The average fish I catch on the fly is around five pounds. But around here, the species we're targeting, the blue shark, can grow to over 500. So today, I may well catch my biggest fish ever on the fly. OK, Art, I know there's some pretty big fish out there. So how's about this? The angler who catches the largest blue shark shall be victorious. Yes, absolutely. Remember, Canada is known as the big village. <laughs> and every village has got an idiot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you know I'm going with that, don't you? Oh, you get nasty too. <laughs> so for my final challenge, it's blue shark or bust here in the North Atlantic. Biggest fish by length will win the day. Just preparing the bait. I'm only joking. Fear not, Pooch. Our shark bait today is actually a bucket of rotting fish called chum. There we go, we're fishing. Its stench should draw the sharks right to us. So basically, if and when we see the shark, I just want to try and tease my fly in front of its snout. Once it takes, just hold on for dear life, because there's about 200 yards of line on this reel, and we'll be able to strip that in minutes. Oh, shark, 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 shark! Come on, take my bait. Kirka! You got him? I got him, Robson, I got him! And Art is in! That blue has just took off. Here he goes. Well, it was going to take one of our baits, and it took arts. Bugger.
To avoid tangling our lines, I've had to pull mine out of the water. All I can do now is watch and wait. Art, I'm slightly concerned about the dogs. I mean, if a blue shark comes on board, it'll devour them, won't it? No. Sure? No. They've oh. seen it all before. <laughs> you ever been bitten, Art? I usually get bit once or twice a year. This mm -hmm. year was uh, once in the belly and uh, once in the wrist. So your quote is up for this year? Yeah. So yeah. probability tells us that the next person to be bitten is me. It's a good chance. If you need me, Art, I'll be behind the dogs. All right, guys, we got color. He's right there, yeah. We got color. He's a beauty. Just take your time, Carl. Just take yeah. your time. Grab the tail. Got the tail? Yeah. OK. Whoa. Be careful there, Art. Oh, we're really good. careful. We're good. OK, what length we got there? 78 and a half. That's 78 and a half inches. That's six and a half feet. We'll release it back into the water, but first, Art's inserting a satellite tag, which will record vital details about its behavior. Tag is it. It may look uncomfortable, but I'm told it's harmless. In a few months' time, it'll detach and transmit the information to research scientists. That's a beautiful, beautiful creature. It has another name, Prionis glauca. Now, glauca is Latin and refers to the beautiful bluish-gray color along its body. The prionis is Greek, and it means sore point. And the only sore point of this scenario is that Art caught it and I didn't. All right, let's just lower it. Off she goes. How is that for extreme fishing? Feels good, eh? So my target to beat is 78 and a half inches. And the longer we're here, the more sharks we're attracting. Oh, there he is, there he is. And he's coming straight for it. Come on, take it. He's going over the yard. He's, he's, he's going over, he's going over. Yeah, he's taking it, he's taking it. We got a fish on. I have the biggest fish I have ever caught on a fly. It is running. It is away. And it has just taken 100 yards of fly line within 10 seconds. Oof. We are going to be here a while. I'll tell you what, Art, by the time I get this fish on board, I think time will be up and you'll not be allowed to catch <laughs> another one. Oh, and you know, for a fact, this is bigger your than strategy. yours. That's your strategy, is it? <laughs> yeah. And he's away again. Oh, crikey, man. Holding on for dear life whilst fly fishing. <sighs> hey, nobody said it was going to be easy. <laughs> I've nearly been playing this fish for an hour on a fly line. Oh, my Lord. This fish cannot have any energy left in it. Good. Yeah, now you're starting to make on them now, buddy. We got colour for the first time. Now we got colour. I'll just back up. Yeah, back her up. What is it? 84 and a half inches long. Well, that's definitely longer than yours, Art. That's 84 and a half inches, sir. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to take this guy up now? Yes, sir. OK, you got the tail? Yeah. OK. What can I say? 84 and a half inches of sheer beauty. It's the biggest fish I've ever caught on the fly, and it's the longest I've ever had to play a fish on the fly. And it's going back. It's tagged, and we're going to release it. All right, ready? Go on. <laughs> Whoa. Gone like a rock. I'm sorry, Art, but mine's bigger than yours. Robson, mm -hmm. well done. Yeah. Do you know the number of a good chiropractor? <laughs> I've shattered my vertebrae. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that beautiful blue shark has done me in, but it was worth every aching muscle. I shall go back to Northumberland, and when asked, hey, Robson, what's the biggest fish you caught on the fly? I shall say, seven feet. How's about that? On this trip, Atlantic Canada hasn't always given up her treasures easily. 
in New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island, my fishing fantasies... That's what dreams are made of, Robson. <laughs> ...turned into flipping nightmares. Clark and I have caught bugger all. But here in Nova Scotia, I bounce back with a bass bonanza... Yes, sir! Get in! ...and the fiercest fly fishing of my life. I have the biggest fish I have ever caught on a fly. The final score is Robson 3, Canada 1. Hey, Robson, you're not cheating over there, are you? No, Debbie, it's a Geordie victory, fair and square. What can I say? I came to Canada's front door and I bust it down. Get in. Get in. Next time... Something's gonna have a go and we are in... I'm fishing the desert. My old friend, the Dorado. As I take on Oman and the United Arab Emirates. Man, the bite is on. It may seem an unlikely place to cast a line. Don't lose it, Sasan. Oh. Don't lose it, it's comes, it's gone. But no one told the fish that. It's too big for the hole. Oh. 